Hey everyone, Oz here. I am with one of my special members here, uh, Nick. Um, how you doing, Nick? I'm doing terrific. I'm doing terrific. So I wanted to bring Nick on. Is he recently joined my blueprint? He he's like super energetic, as you guys will find out soon, and he's full of passion, and and he can he can feel that. So I wanted to get to know him a little more, and while I'm doing that, I wanted to do the recording, obviously, so you can get to hear his story as well. Um, Nick, let's uh, get started, buddy. So uh, you, you told me you have an interesting story about how you found out about me. Uh, so I, I'm, I don't know how, how you found out about me. So if you can share that story, that would be great. Yeah, I mean, the, my introduction into the whole cash advance business was a little bit backwards from I think what maybe most people um, have seen. Um, I was, you know, I was, I worked on Wall Street. I was in financial business my whole, you know, uh, when I started to feel like, you know, I was getting a little old for that, um, and I was looking for a second career, uh, I, I was training to be an x-ray technician, mm -hmm. uh, surgical technician, x-ray technician, because my goal there was to, to, to snowbird. As you can see, I'm in Florida now, uh, you know, but I'm wearing my New York Knicks shirt, so uh, I'm a New Yorker. Uh, but I did, so my plan was to do a little snowbirding and have a skill so I could subsidize, you know, living. Um, but anyway, so just as I had one semester to go and uh, really one class to go. And so I took a job, you know, and it was with a debt settlement company. Um, debt settlement company, um, you know, it was just perfectly, you know, they were, they were lax, you know, work when you can with your schooling. So I, I did it. And the settlement company, um, what they were doing was uh, uh, settling for people that got involved with cash advances. So I didn't even know what a cash advance was. I mean, I was in the financial world. I worked with mm -hmm. uh, yeah, institutional finance. I didn't know what cash advance was. I, was. I owned the business. I owned the franchise after I left. Uh, you know, I was a, a prudential. Um, so, um, you know, I had a little bit of a small business experience, too. But so I go for this uh, debt settlement company. I didn't know what a cash advance was. And they kind of tell me what it's about. And um, I did that for a few months. And I started seeing people with... Uh, four or five cash advances, you know, and yeah. training me that, you know, this is these guys were taking advantage of and we got to save them and all this kind of thing, you know. Um, so I did that for four months and I just, my exposure to cash advances was my exposure to COJs. It was a, my exposure to people that were, were, were not, um, you know, were not getting the right education when they were taking out these loans. Right. You know, uh, I, you know I'm a family guy and, and uh, um, uh, and I have, you know, I started seeing families getting, you know, disrupted, to say the least, with because of these. So, um, but anyway, uh, you know, I'm not, the, the settlement company, uh, like all settlement companies, I think they bring small value. I, I actually was speaking to one of my clients yesterday, trying to find him funding, and he was probably the only one I know that really came out of a settlement company really, you know, well. I'm not saying they're all bad, but I think, um, you know, there's an education that needs to go along with that. Yeah someone takes out a loan and they're running into a little problem, um, settlement companies is, is like you know, anything else. It's, a, it's an adversarial type of situation and you gotta really think it through. So um, while I was there, I actually had a, a, a someone, a coworker, and um, I knew I was on the wall that, you know, um, that I was gonna do something else. Um, but I, you know, I, was enjoy I really was enjoying myself. I was enjoying meeting business people online, you know, Texas, uh, uh, Wisconsin, uh, Oregon, all over, and helping them with their situations, uh, developing a, a great rapport. I knew I, had, I was giving them a good rapport because they appreciated me. Um, so uh, I wanted to stay in that business. X-ray and, and, and the health field is kind of moving in the rearview mirror. Although it brought, brought me great value, brought me great understanding. Um, so this person says they would want to go on the lending side with me. And uh, so I agree. But I used to say to myself, if I could get them to call me, Zoom, every, you know, everything's Zoomed up. You know, they need me. I don't have to go tap it on their shoulder. Do you need me? Do you need me? Do you need me? They, I know they need me. So just, I made the least amount of calls, but I was having multiple times success. Um, so I got exposed to MailChimp and, and the, I think that's why my, the, the, the woman that I ended up leaving with and partnering with, you know, she says, you want to do this together. We formed this partnership. Uh, I'm not to get into those details. That didn't last more than two months. Um, but uh, out of the gate, her and I, we had success. Mm. Just doing the um, back end, uh, talking to the lenders. Uh, we together, you know, who, which lenders we wanted to work with. Uh, I, knew, I knew of the lenders from, from the settlement side. I, I, I've seen 
you know, I've seen the names and I've, you know, I, I even developed some, some, some communications with them. Um, she was handling that. I was doing the, um, we were recruiting some reps around the country. Um, I was doing that, that type of work. The, mm -hmm. the, uh, and she was doing the back end. You know, uh, it was like around my birthday. I'm saying like, you know, this is, we're done. You know, she's going her way. I'm going mine. Do I go back to x-ray, uh, which I, you know, and uh, work in the operating rooms, which I actually absolutely loved. Or do I move forward? And, you know, it's, uh, the, the wave was like, I was so tired. I don't want to create I don't want to do the, do all the marketing, the mail. I don't want to do this again, you know. Um, but, you know, in New York, we don't quit. And uh, we fight back. You know, I might have licked my wounds a couple of days or, you know, felt sorry for myself. You know, I, there was money lost because I was losing income. But all that aside, so I said, all right, I picked up my company after the New York landmark, which no one knows about, it seems, because mm -hmm. Verrazano Bridge, I named it Verrazano Business Advisors. And I, but um, right out of the gate, my, my previous partner and I, we had success. And uh, I mean, it's such a great product. Um, someone who needs it, uh, you educate them the right way. They become loyal. They become trusting. They get their money in a short period of time. Mm -hmm. We get our commissions quick. So, you know, we were able to put money in the coffers real quick and start to develop, you know. And then, like I said, two, you know, we were profitable the first month. Um, two months, into it, we went our separate ways. Um, and then I had that, again, I had that decision. So I knew what I wanted to do. And um, again, I'm going to back up a little bit. We were starting the first company. Um, I, I, I caught you. I was doing some research on YouTube, and I caught one of your things. You know, if you do this, you will fail. You know, I think it was one of your one of your uh, uh, YouTube videos. If you know, if MCA company is going to do it this way. You know, good luck. And I watched that. I watched that probably three or four times. And actually, uh, the, the truth of the matter is, that's kind of how we proceeded. I, I, I was doing it organically, as you would say um, back then. But we closed a few deals. Uh, the way we closed those deals was, you know, uh, word of mouth. Uh, we let people know what we were doing. Uh, I let family know what I'm doing. A couple came my way. We did some uh, renewals. Um, so, you know, right out of the gate, we were making money. And that's when I said, this is a great industry. You know? So, uh, again, two, two and a half months into it, you know, I'm, I'm back again. I did have uh, a, a map to follow to mm -hmm. see again. Um, it's a little different. A little more difficult when you're doing it on your own, you know, it's a little, uh, uh, you put long hours, but um, so I did, I started up again and I just, I did some improvements that I, you know, and, um, but to, to, to say what you said, you know, in two months I was profitable again. Yeah. Um, and, you know, again, I, I, I really started from the, the, the ground zero. So I'll let you get a word in a few, you know, just to raise your hand and I'll stop, you know. Yeah, no, you're fine. I'm, I'm curious. I'm, <laughs> you know, you ask me a question, you know, you, you got to slow me down. Fine. <laughs> Uh, but, um, so, you know, you know, I realized, you know, you could really take this from zero to profitable and build a life on it in no time. One of the thing, one of the major changes I did, and um, I, some of the reps followed me over is because I just said, well, they were getting one third of the cut when we were three, you know, me, my partner, and whatever rep was bringing in a deal. I was happy with one third. I'm going to still be happy with one third. I upped my commissions pretty much basically to my reps and mm. they followed me and they, you know, and that's been, that's been uh, one way that I've been, been doing well. Um, the other way I've been doing well is um, from previous businesses. I had a, um, a mailing list. Uh, I've been using MailChimp and I think I wrote an effective kind of uh, reach out um, and I got some business through, through MailChimp. Um, but um, so that's, a, you know, that, that's, that's, uh, you know, th that, that's where we are. So if you're asking me is, can you do this industry? Definitely. Again, I did it uh, up until this time. I still didn't, you know, uh, take on your services, mm -hmm. but I knew, you know, you're always in the back of my mind because I would go back to your YouTubes from now and then. And I saw some of the, uh, the people that I've now communicated with on, on, the, on the web, on the Facebook and I've met them, but I saw their videos and I would always watch your videos and I knew, uh, because a lot of my success was with renewals and I knew that that, or, or that, that, that MailChimp list that I had, I knew that's going to dry up soon. Yeah. So I knew, and you know, it's hard to keep uh, reps around the country motivated. And one way I was going to motivate them, my, my, the people that were doing well, I want to, I want to send them some very warm leads instead of me myself, I would kick it to them, maybe do a 50, 50 split, something like that. And, 
you know, but I knew I needed to uh, attack the social media. And that's when, well, how am I going to do that? Well, there's a Wizard of Oz out there that uh, <laughs> when I reach out to you. But I think it was the easiest sell for you. You know, you called me up and you said, Nick, uh, you know, you were telling me about how I could do this. I said, I, I know. Just let's get this done. done. I did the fast track. Fernando and your team were fantastic. Um, but, and, and you know, and I, the, the, to jump to this, and I'm jumping all over the place, and I apologize, but the value uh, that, you know, when I, I turned up with you in December. Uh, the value of the, of, of the Facebook group alone is, is, is going to bring me to, to, to new levels. Uh, never mind that I'm, I'm, I'm LinkedIn. I'm doing the LinkedIn pretty much. Uh, I got to build up my Facebook uh, way of marketing. Uh, I, I'm, I've improved my MailChimp um, approach, but uh, so what else could I say, man? It's a... Uh, oh, you've been great, man. So one thing you <laughs> mentioned, uh, the phone call, usually when I get on the phone, I have two types of people, right? Majority of them um, are like similar to you they just jump in and they want to either hear if i'm a real person or not like they want they want to they want to see if i'm going to actually answer the phone because they see this youtube character and they have no idea if that person is a real one or not or if they're going to be pushed to a sales guy on the phone and and you were just like that you're like ah, dude i'm I'm, re I'm ready to go just i just love to do this uh, you know but not to interrupt you Oz, but you know what because i did it once and then i did it again yeah. It's really, with a, really within less than a two-month period launching myself, everything you were telling me read true. Yeah. Everything you told me rang true, and I, I felt your sincerity. I felt your desire. I felt, you know, I felt every, you know, your devotion to this. I just felt it because I knew. It, it, it takes that energy, and um, I, I just read it. So I said, this guy is the real deal. Um, I thought it was a bargain. Don't raise your prices because <laughs> But, you know, and I've been happy ever since. I mean, cause they're, they're just talking to everybody on the line. I appreciate it, man. It's just uh, great coming from you. And um, one thing that we were talking in the beginning of our interview, so you're in, you're in Florida. I mean, I, I'm seeing a nice view behind you. So what's been, what's been going on? I think you're living that ultimate entrepreneurial life that you can be wherever the hell you are and still make money, right? <laughs> Yeah, well, yeah, listen, so, you know, the reason why I don't spend more time down here is because my daughter gave me a beautiful grandson. Nice. Be away from him. But there were days when my daughter, who's a real estate agent, um, you know, had closings and whatnot, and she says, Dad, can you come over and, and, and watch Dominic? Uh, he's four. I, yeah, okay, you know, okay, I'm there. And I'm, I sit up on a kitchen counter, and, you know, uh, Dominic is watching TV. I pretend I'm watching along with him, you know. <laughs> And so, yeah, I do. I mean, I would make that my practice every day, but I was able to do it. I was able to enjoy, you know, I'm able to join my grandson probably once a week. I'll sneak away. Uh, I could sneak to Florida, you know, but uh, it is that type of business. Give me a laptop, give me a phone. There was times I went to the park with, with him, my, my grandson. I got my phone in my hand and I was able to carry myself for a couple of hours, you know. Um, probably you people that are a little bit more savvy on, the, on their smartphone than I am probably could do, you know, more, but I'll... You know, I'll hit a roadblock with my, my, my smartphone still. Hey man, as, I, as I always say, uh, perfectionism is the enemy of profitability, right? So you don't need to be best at social media. You don't need to be the best guy on doing MailChimp and all the other stuff. But if you, if you put your mind to it and if you follow it, and because you have been doing it yourself and you notice, you acknowledge that you were missing some key elements, now, now it is complete. And while a lot of people are physically stuck where they are because they have a job or because of this, because of that, they can't just pack up and go. Uh, we have that freedom, uh, which is, which is good. So it, it takes an eye to, to see that you acknowledge that, right? Um, there are people who think they know everything, so you can't really help them. But when you started this industry, you tried many things yourself and you failed, you, you were successful again and you tried. So it's, it's the journey of an entrepreneur. Then you finally say, you know what, let's follow a, a proven system. And it, it is working for you and you are, um, you've become in a short amount of time, one of the uh, key members in my, in my community that anyone can reach out and get the help they need. And, you know, uh, you're just very personable. So I, I do appreciate that because, you know, you don't just come in with, come in to take, you're, you're also giving back to a ton of people. And that comes from the mindset of um, abundance not scarcity, not thinking that, oh yeah, wh why would I train someone else or why would I help someone else? You know that as well as I do. There is enough for everyone, more than enough for everyone to go around, right? 
Absolutely. But I mean, the, the group itself, listen, I'm going to also say this again. Uh, the group is so generous. Um, everyone is so generous. I'm learning, you know, newbie, I'm learning from newbies and I'm learning from your experienced people. But uh, listen, you know, they say if you have a, mo- a mastermind of 10, you're, you're, you're way ahead of the game. I feel like I've got a mastermind of 200. Yeah. And, and this, this, this industry changes with technology and, you know, or new things out there, new ways to market. And, you know, from the new to the, you know, from the new players to the experienced players, everyone's teaching me something. And I, so I only want to give it back. But, you know, that's a testament to, to yourself because I think, you know, uh, the team takes on the manager of the, the personality of the manager, a big believer in that. Um, and, you know, your generosity, your dedication, your live calls, um, you know, it keeps, it just, it, the, the group itself uh, is, is really a product of, of, of your, your, your desire too. And I'm not, I'm not saying this, you know, I'm really appreciating, you know, what you, what you bring because, um, you know, I, I'm reaping the benefit. I really, I says, I, you know, I was having success, but I knew that there was another level and I'm learning other levels uh, that I didn't think I would know. Um, you know, just like the equipment financing video that you posted. Yeah. Absolutely. That's just the tip of the iceberg. There are many things that, that are in the works. As you know, I'm always working on something to add to the training. And I, I don't think I've mentioned this before in, in this channel, but my people sometimes ask me what the ultimate goal is and, and, and what I'm trying to accomplish. What I'm trying to do is just um, bring this industry, industry to a level of um, 100% transparency and, and create a... a a community of people who are totally honest and transparent while they're making a great, great lifestyle. They're making great income for themselves that could range from 10,000, 100,000 or sky is the limit pretty much. They're also doing the right thing by the customer, right? And doing the right thing by the customer is only possible if you are a consultant. Um, you can't just know one product and try to make a living and, and also try to help the, your customers as help your customers as well, right? You got to have abundance of information, abundance of options. Uh, so my goal is definitely uh, help this industry come to a certain standard that anything below that standard is unacceptable. That's my ultimate goal. And, and I know you, and I, I, maybe that's why I also connected with you the way, you know, uh, you know, I, um, I love the idea when you say transparency, because that's when I, when I was making the shift uh, and really, really even with my surgical tech background, when I was in the operating room, watching these people going to anesthesia, and um, you know, they're, they're like going to the anesthesia in a room full of you know strangers. I'm saying, what what trust they have in in us? I'm the I'm you know, as a surgical tech, I'm, I got the you know the smallest paying job and the smallest role there. But my my level of like this guy and his family, they're not here. They're trusting me while this guy goes under, and I got to give it my A game, and I will never let down someone who puts that much trust in me. And I take that in, in what I'm doing now, and and that's why I really take to you and everyone in the group. Um, cause I, I sense it and that really, that really does come from you. So. And I, I, a hundred percent see that, see that through in you, man. You know, it's when, when we have health problems, when we rely on health on the doctors and individuals like, like, like yourself, we're in the most vulnerable state, right? So we don't, we, you don't know what's going to happen. You're just laying there and they're going to put you to sleep and you're just going to wake up. Um, that's one area that people are super vulnerable. The other area is the finances, right? So exactly. People, want to do their research and due diligence, but a lot of times they don't even know how to do the research properly. So they just want someone, someone to trust so they can say, exactly. Hey Nick, don't hurt me, man. Like just help me out. And if you're exactly. that person and people, people are not stupid, they see that through, right? When they see that happen, like you genuinely care for their own benefit. Um, and it, you have, you have a business that's going to feed you for life. And I, I already see that you're doing that. And that comes from, that inner discipline that I guess you were brought up with over the years you have developed. So uh, it's definitely a privilege to have you in this group for sure. Any last uh, thoughts? Because I know you you have a lot of sunshine and beach time to catch up with. So I don't yeah. want to too long. <laughs> no, I mean, I, I'm going back to the phones, emails, and everything else. But um, you know, the, my last key to also what you just said was I'm also was a small business owner. I owned the franchise, a printing franchise. So and I know how that takes up all your time, how it takes up your day. So when someone comes to you and gives you advice, you, you know, you really can't do your due diligence and vet them the right way. Right. It really becomes a trust. Uh, and again, um, so that's what I try and do. But uh, listen, uh, keep doing what you're doing. Uh, you, you, you're innovating all the time. Um, uh, and uh, if I could do anything, to, I don't know what I've done. I think, I, I think I've helped a few people. If I could help more or less or 
know, I always share my stories or if I did have a success, I always say, I'm not bragging. I just want to show yeah. you people pretty much how it goes. And, you know, I'm no genius, uh, but, uh, no, I am working the, I am working your program. So, um, with all that, you, it's, it, it comes down to, it's up to me. It's up to you. It's up to the other person. So. Absolutely. Do, do, uh, you don't, you don't need to change anything. Keep doing what you're doing, man. Great to have you. Thanks so much for being here today. <laughs> yeah. No, thanks for having me. Oz. Thanks for having me. All right, man. Take care now.